Hey guys, day two, uh, second hour. Here we go. A uh, couple updates. I did discover that I wanted to tackle um, my first song, which is going to be by Ed Sharon uh, called Lego House. So I was bounced around a couple ideas because I knew I want to tackle a song. So a little bit ago, um, I was sitting there listening to a couple of YouTube videos, practicing along with them. Uh, definitely need a little more, more practice, of course, but you know, practice comes, practice goes. So hopefully um, down the road, I'll be able to play Ed Sharon song in the mix of all my learning. So I'm kind of excited for that. It's kind of cool. Um, but like we left off, I was going to be tackling page 39 of the book. If anyone hasn't checked it out yet. So it's a good book. It's got all three lessons in it. And so the song is uh, Boogie Badass, and it's the exercise. Well, bass, boogie bass. And uh, we're doing the strum practices. So up, down, up, down, up, down. So we'll get that going. So that'll be fun. Anyone who comes and watches, thank you again for coming by and watching and hanging out with me. Kind of cool. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. So we're starting with the... Six string. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nose. Oh, I left my cheek so far away. Uh, Hi, Christine. Thanks for popping in. Um, yeah, so G right above. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so right below this is G F. So that's gonna be right. Yeah, right. So then. Two strings down. Probably like you know, in process, right in the book as well, just so I know I'm doing the right thing. <sighs> da -da -da -da. <laughs> Open and then I'm going for the 
E note. So it's D, E. Then I'll do it. G. Back to it. E. Definitely a lot of practice in the strums. as the more you practice its memory of it as well, which is very helpful. probably get to the point where I'll probably have the sheet music up on here so you guys can see what I'm looking at. I'm not that advanced tech, tech yet, so kind of just kind of here with me for the journey. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I do appreciate you stopping in. Let's see a little bit more. 
of this. Back this up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Don't have the best camera set up. But. Mm hmm. So that goes. Alright, so I've tackled the first um first bar first, second, third bar. Um actually the first six bars is what I just tackled. Alright, bar, bar, bar. Um the measure. Right.
kind of sounds like the a little bit of the like that intro song to the TV show Vikings a little bit. It's like a not that part. It was like the the um, was it the right uh, this part does. Seventeen minutes, guys. Whew. So I guess it's taken me, which is pretty good, about twenty minutes to learn the first, like the whole thing, to really go through it and break it down before I really tackle it. It's pretty good. It's good progress. Really good progress that I feel. I feel like I'm tackling it well. Um, if I need to adjust the sound to on the audio. I know I'm playing with a little bit. Hopefully it's not too ear wrenching for you guys. Um, but we're almost we're almost through the full lesson that it wants me to do on this section. And then I'll go through it a couple times to make sure I really have it. I feel like the the tingling in my fingers. <laughs> I've definitely built up calluses though, so it doesn't, like my skin doesn't, um, like before, to be like rough patches or indents. Now it's just kind of like a little tingly from switching back and forth, back and forth. I don't know if maybe it's like too much pressure on my hand, if I should be using less pressure. Still trying to figure that out. Because, um, you know, guitar lessons cost money that I don't have. So self-teaching is better in ways, in ways. Da -da -da. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Bună ziua! Am să mă So I know after I do What did I do? I'm mixing up my notes. Well, no, I'm mixing one of my notes up. And it's the B note. Why am I missing the B note? We practiced B yesterday. having a brain fart moment for a quick second I was mixing up one of the notes but I realigned myself and understood it so I just played through the whole thing all the way um, it's now pretty much just gotta keep going back and forth with it and um, be good we'll have it we'll have it good <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to stretch out the back, though. <laughs> okay. Right, yeah. So I definitely have parts of it memorized. It's memorizing the whole thing and then doing the whole thing will probably be really helpful. Which is, you know, ideally being able to remember finger placements, sounds of it will help me when I start tackling a song because then I won't have to look at sheet music and that's the goal is to eventually learn how to play with no sheet music like a real musician <laughs> kudos to you guys really kudos really really mm. okay <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. 
I'm getting quicker with it. Mm. All right. So after I play this run, I think I might try out the pick to see what the pick sounds like. To kind of give myself uh, an understanding of the of playing it differently between pick and non-pick, even though I still prefer no pick. So if we play with the pick. And so I got these really cool, neat pick. Well, I think they're kind of cool. Um, I forgot what my camera was. So I got them from Guitar Center. I got a package of them. Not too bad. I have a guitar pick that I'm like, got stored away when I went to my first Kessler concert. The guitar pickest, well, at the end of the show, they threw all the guitar picks into the audience. And uh, luckily enough, I was able to nab one. It's a great story. I uh, would love to tell you it. But maybe for another time. Okay. Ooh. So much harder with the pick. <laughs> Don't know why, but it's so much harder.
too bad. I definitely prefer my finger over the pick though. Um, for sure, I definitely do. But we'll run through that a couple more times and then I'll go to the next exercise. So we're 35 minutes in, and um, definitely practice that. I'll do it again, and then we'll go on to the next exercise. It's starting to get a little dark. I'm using kind of like my window light as my light because my room light is too bright. But whoosh. I'm getting the warning that my computer's going to shut off on me. Okay. And continue. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Awesome. All right, so I ran through that. So the next exercise that's on here, it's telling me to um, working on our strum technique. I'm gonna strike the bass note and then strum the remaining a remainder of the chord twice. So. We're getting into the fun. So then I hit the chord. So it's chord, chord, note, chord, chord, note. Yeah, so. So strum the chord. So chord, chord, note, chord, chord, note. But in this, it starts with a note first, and then chord, chord, note, chord, chord, note. And that's my G note. Um, my G. Yeah, that's my G. My head. That note. hit that note which is open so Should have all these memorized. Which is that one? It's G E M C D seven.
I'm going to go back to D7. D7 is that one. I'm not looking for the A. Must be hit. Cool. Yeah, so these are just like a couple exercises that are to rotate between the note and the chord segment. And then back to back to my Cool. All right, so then the next, so we'll go to the next page then. And on that page, Alex continues the strumming. Practice these strums before playing simple, simple jazz. All right, so last exercise before we play the next song, which is called Simple Gifts. Okay. So let's we'll see. We'll go back to the G. Just a couple uh, chord practice exercises before going to the next segment, which is indicating some chord usage. Um, so this will be the layout. So we'll tackle this. Um, so well, we got what 13 minutes in yeah so we'll start going through i'll start breaking it down um and then we'll really have it ready for next time 
it is getting a little dark in here. Um, I don't think I have a light option. <laughs> but let me. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
That's a weird setup. Um.
All right, yeah. So I was able to make it through the whole segment. I know it started to get dark. Um, I'll have to do this a little bit earlier so I don't lose so much light. Um, but that is day two, second hour. I'm probably going to practice on my own learning how to play Lego House by Ed Sharon, And then I'll kind of like bring it into one of my segments, practice maybe for the, the course of it. Um, but we'll... We'll see that in maybe a week, maybe two weeks, based on where it kind of fall. Because I do kind of also want to, I won't sing it, but I'll be singing it eventually. But thank you guys for coming to day two for the second hour and stop on in for tomorrow for the third hour and the third day. Take care, guys.